Hello, let's look at this ex uh, these examples where the, the rational inequality have one side which is not zero, right? Not zero. It can be x, can be number, all right? Uh, if you if you're not if you're not mod uh, the inequality that not one of the uh, one either one side is zero, you cannot start using table of sign, right? Uh, you must modify, you must uh, simplify it such that one side is zero. So, okay, this is a technique. So you have two minus three X. Uh, there are one thing that you shouldn't do and you cannot do and forbidden. So which you take the X plus one, the thing with the multiply over, you means you cross multiply to the other side, which is very wrong because this is x plus one, it's unknown. Unknown means you don't know whether they are positive or negative. The effect to this sign, uh, should I reverse or should, uh, should I reverse or should I not reverse is based on the denominator. Means that the denominator could be negative, could be negative, maybe negative. So once you move, it will be changed the sign, right? So better for you, not better, it's not, allow for you to multiply over to the other side if you're not sure that this is positive or negative all right uh, so very important remember this so now you have to bring the five go to the other side to make it one side become zero ah this is the this is the only way that you can do so now what you should do now will be you equalize you equate the denominator right 3 minus 2x, so simplify. So 5 divided by 1, this is 5 divided by 1. So you have to multiply with x plus 1, x plus 1, numerator and denominator. So, okay, now you have a fraction, which you have x plus 1. Uh, then you have 2 minus 3x, minus with 5x, negative 5x, negative 5 plus 1 multiply you have negative 5 right uh, negative 5x negative 5 then e let more equals 0 so now you have negative 5 3 you have negative 8x minus with 3 negative 8x minus with 3 divided by x plus 1 uh, now you have reached that one side already becomes 0 right uh, one side become zero. So, but you, uh, it's better don't use table of sign yet because do you remember that in the previous video they I said that the coefficient for x should be positive. Okay, coefficient of x of x must be positive. Right, must be positive here. So this x plus one already become positive. So you're going to multiply both sides by negative. So the sign is going to change. So you multiply by negative, the negative eight x will become eight x. The negative three will become positive three. You multiply by negative, you know, right? The whole thing you multiply negative. So you divide by uh, x plus one, right? You divide by x plus one. So, all right divide by x plus 1, then don't forget the sign change because you multiply the negative, right? Uh, so now it's uh, safe for you to do using the table of sign because the one side already becomes zero, right? The condition, one side zero, and the coefficient for x is positive, all right? So now, uh, what is the critical value for this case? Critical value, so you have uh, negative 3 over 8, 3 over 8, and x equals to negative 1. And there is an equal here, right? Don't forget that x plus 1 cannot be 0. Ah, you must understand this because it's a denominator, you know. You cannot divide. You, you cannot take negative 1, right? If you put negative 1 plus 1, it could become 0, right? Ah, so once 0, this whole thing will be undefined. So you should, you, you should remember that you cannot include the negative 1. So now you have uh, how many regions you have? You have a negative 1 and negative 308. You have three regions. 1, 2, 
three, three regions. So you can build, construct a table of sign for this case to solve. So you have 8x plus 3 and you have x plus 1, two factor and conclusion. What happened? The sign of this when you divide 8x plus 3 bit, x plus 1. So you have three column, right? You have three columns. So, uh, okay, there are many types of table of sign. So my, my table of sign will be, I will follow this, I will write the value here, negative one and negative three over eight, right? So you have three region, one, two, three. So, okay, I have tissue already. Eight X plus three, negative three or eight, and X plus three. So start from this line, this will be positive. The remaining will be negative. Before negative three or eight will be negative. After will be positive. For x plus one, we look at negative one, right? Uh, so means after negative one, it will become positive. Before negative one is negative. All right. All right. Now we're doing conclusion by divide. Right. You divide. So negative divided by negative, you have positive. This one will get negative, and this one will be positive. Then you start to choosing the region. Okay, this three region, you choose either you choose positive or you choose negative. It's based on this situation here when you start to construct this table based on this inequality. So 8x plus, uh, okay, uh, less than zero, right? Less than zero is negative. Uh, so this is a region, right? Negative. So from here, you can know that negative one, uh, this will be the solution. But I always want students to understand that my mistake, spot my mistake. So where is the mistake? You have known that x cannot be negative one, right? Cannot be negative one. So you have to erase the equal from this negative one because you cannot include negative one in the solution. So this will be your solution in set form. So if you want to write your solution in interval form, it will be easier. Open bracket, not included, negative 1, and negative 308 is included, right? Uh, this is how you solve the rational inequalities.